Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey, Ray. Well, hello, Donna. Yes, it is time again to do our fashion review. And this time it is for the 2021 Met Gala. Oh my goodness. It was pretty awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. Me too. Um, yes, it was great. And so we can't wait to get to some of these fashions so you guys can see uh, what some of these celebrities wore. Um, the theme this year was a salute to American fashion and celebrate the role of American labels and champion sustainability, diversity, and inclusion. So we'll be talking about some of the designers. Um, the uh, Met Gala invitation lists the dress code as American independence. So that was the theme that they had to keep in mind. So as we're looking at the different fashion um, outfits on the different um, celebrities, they all had to keep in mind that it had to deal with American independence or American fashion. So we'll be keeping that in mind. So again, I'm Donna Sheely, just here, uh, just love anything celebrity fashion. And then we have Miss Ray Mack, who is, I call her fashionista. She says we all are, but she is. So tell us a little bit about you, Ray. Um, well, I have um, love fashion, mm -hmm. right, since a child. Like I remember when my, my mother and my aunt, they would go shopping in the, in the like late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. And they had designer jeans on and they wore heels and just a blouse. And, you know, it was yeah. so glamorous to me. And so, and then I got into, my mother was like, well, if you want to buy a pair of jeans, you got to go pick it out yourself. Mm -hmm. And then she'd be like, well, I need you to find me a suit. Um, and that's kind of how my love of clothes and mm -hmm. the fact that I actually do like to shop. Yes. Kind of all evolved. And I'm so excited about tonight because um, I actually work a block from the Met. So every year I walk down to the Met and I try yeah. to see someone. Okay. Um, I remember the first time and I didn't know anything about Met, the Met Gala mm -hmm. and Ralph Lauren was walking right next to me. Oh, wow. And he had on the top. So I was like, where's he going? And I was like, wait a minute, that's Ralph Lauren. Ah. And I kind of followed him. And mm -hmm. this is when the Met Gala wasn't so big big right right um and I was like wow what is this and then so every year even if I can't walk down there I always dress up try to be in like a little dressy because in my head I'm all in the gala and then when I leave work I like to go down there and see if I see any celebrities mm. leaving um because it's nothing but sprinters you know there yes Right. waiting for people to get into mm -hmm. like last year I saw Zendaya getting into her oh, sprinter like I was nice. like I could go touch her right um, but it was kind and of they're cool. all lined up like waiting to go yeah. yeah yeah and and you know you can't drive for like a four block radius because right. it's all everybody has to park somewhere right right while they're waiting for the people to have their little parties but yeah and then I also got to see Nicki Minaj's leg it was exciting Yes, yes. Now, speaking of her leg, that is hilarious. Speaking of Nicki Minaj real quick, she did not go this year because the requirement was that you had to be vaccinated and um, she's not vaccinated. And so she said, I'm not going to go. And then she, I think she put out a little tweet about someone she knew that was vaccinated and then they, um, something happened. They were- like They're sterile or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the details, but anyway, that's why she didn't show up this year. So um, but everybody was there. I only saw they didn't have to wear masks because of that. Um, they were outside. I believe once they got inside, they had to wear a mask. And um, you yeah. see some people coming out with masks. Like I saw Regina King have her mask on and different things. So, um, and it's a party. It's a party. They come yeah. and then they go and all they're talking about, I can't wait to drink. I can't wait to party. And that's really what it is. So, all right. So yeah. let's look, let's, let's get started. Let's get started. So, all right. Um, all right. Who do you want to? Who do you want to talk about first? Let's talk about the the, the woman who kind of puts this all together. Anna is, uh, Wintour is the, uh, was she still the editor and she? She is um, now like the editor in law, at law, um, okay. but um, she is also chair of the costume um, department. 
Okay. At the museum. Okay. Um, and she's a global content officer of Condé Nast now. Oh, so okay. Let me she pull up her, her picture. Okay, we will start with her because she was one of the first ones that we saw yesterday. So, yes. and y'all have to pardon me if I keep touching my, my sinuses are on like a whole different level doing something crazy today. So <laughs> I might be over here going on mute every now and then. Well, last time it was me. You know what? It sure was. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, now it's my turn. So I am like, ah. Oh. Well, All right. She is. There she is. And, and I never met a, a ruffle or a floral I didn't like. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you have both her. right here. Look at that. Oh, Oscar de la Renta. Love it. And just, you know, she looks so, to me, just very well put together. Yes. Upper East Side woman. Mm-hmm. I love it. Chic. Everything. Very mm -hmm. chic, simple. The necklace is nice. It's just so good. It just looks great on her. Yes. And, um, yeah, go ahead, Anna. All right. Well, I'm going to let you just go and you just select and we will go from there. We're just going to go through okay. and uh, show you guys some of our picks and some people that maybe weren't the best <laughs> in our minds. No, but hey. we, and we have to have those. So, all right, let's go with, um, I'm going to, Miss Megan. Okay. This is one of Ray's, oh, I thought you were doing uh, the other Meg. Oh, this is Megan the Stallion. Yes. Now, let's just say that she really looks classy here, and you know, I like the simplicity of it all. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, she's still a hot girl. You know, gonna do her thing, but she really, I think, really pulled off classy in this. Yeah, and it's um a coach. It's made by Coach. Yep, it's Coach. Yep. But and my favorite favorite part of the whole thing is her mm -hmm. hair. I know and that that Marcel wave is everything. That wave is just giving us all kind of He's giving us glam, all Hollywood, Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood glam. Yeah. So, all right. Um, who do you have next on your list? I have Amanda Gorman. Okay. So. Um, All right, well, while I'm waiting, while I'm flipping to hers, this is the group shot of uh, her. Okay. And um, the entire, the co-chairs, which was Billie Eilish, for me, who was the biggest surprise of the night. And there's Amanda. And she was channeling um, Statue of Liberty. So I love her, it. Yeah, and then... Uh -huh. um, his name's, um, oh my God. Timothy. She, right? Timothy. And he had on, I actually kind of liked his outfit because it was I did too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was giving us COVID-19 quarantine vibe. <laughs> right. Like, hey, we still are wearing our joggers and sneakers under underneath because everybody was giving us work at the top and down below. And I think he brought that. That's If that's yeah. not American, I don't know what it is. So yeah. Absolutely. He, and he had a brooch. Come on, bro. And then Naomi um, Osaka. Na Naomi. And I heard her, she had a combination of her heritage. So she yes. had Japanese and is it Nigerian or what is Haitian? It? Haitian. Okay. I still haven't figured out the Haitian part. Yeah. But maybe it was the color. Maybe it's the, the ruffle. Maybe it's the ruffle. And I think underneath is more of the Japanese. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know either, but I I thought they all four looked really wonderful and cute. They did. And they were the, uh, what do they call them? The um, co-chairs. Co-chairs. Yes, they were all the co-chairs. Look at them trying to get these Gen Zs. Are they okay. Gen Zs? Yeah, the younger people involved this time, which I think is great, you know? I, I think, think so it's too. time to pass it down. And they did great. They really they did. They did a really good job. So I'm going to surprise you with another one. Okay. Uh oh and you can go in any order if you want to just go in the order on there that's fine we could just okay, um, well, however however you is, it's easier for you okay well here is mr chicago <laughs> raise that word <laughs> yes come on chance the rapper and his wife oh, i love it 
Oh my and, god. Um, okay, I just hung and up on somebody. What is her name? You just hung up on someone? <laughs> Look at you hanging up on people. And he had on uh they actually both had on Ralph Lauren. Yes, they both had on Ralph Lauren. And you know when she turned around. Oh, they're like, uh uh-uh, uh, you call it, I'm calling you back. <laughs> When she turned around, I didn't see the back of that. Now she, I thought she was Jordan Sparks. Um, I did not know um, who she was at first. She's absolutely gorgeous. His wife's name is Kristen Corley. Um, She's beautiful and um, he looks good too. But yeah, they're both wearing Ralph Lauren and they're giving us all kind of glam. Everything about her right now is just, I'm loving. Um, yeah. her hair, just the way it's, it's kind of giving me a Morticia vibe, but classy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I love how his hand is just perfectly cupped on her butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is where it goes right here. Bap. So yeah. And her, um, her gown in the back was open. Okay. Okay. Um, when so she turned around and I only know that because when I, she was talking to Kiki, she mm-hmm. turned around and I was like, oh. Okay. So, oh, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. So bravo to them. They did a great job. Um, okay, so we have next on the menu. Okay. I can't wait to see. And, and we forgot to add her to our list, but Alicia Oh, we Keys. did. Alicia Keys. Now, um, I will say up close, her hair had like the little beads in them. Yes. I was like, were those individuals or was that a netting that they put? I mean, that took some time that takes some time and she looked really really pretty she did um i'm not sure what the bra situation is underneath i don't like that yeah is it a bra or is it a camisole i don't know what it is but it's distracting okay it is a little distracting um Uh, but i don't know what what vibe is she giving us just old hollywood um to me i was like that would have been dope if it was carolina herrera because that is a carolina herrera signature which is the white blouse and a large ballroom skirt okay but i I was never able to find out who the designer was Mm -hmm. so i'm just kind of going with um you know the white blouse and a ballroom skirt is american style so that's kind of yeah i I like it i'm i'm down for that i love that style and her 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 jewelry is um, Really oh my cool. gosh, her jewelry is great. And then it had a nice train on it too. Mm-hmm. So it was nice. It there was were a really lot nice. of trains, actually. There were uh, a lot of trains. Yeah. Okay, so. so um here we go. I'm I'm a little mad at everybody because of this. Yeah, you are not uh, happy about this. I don't first of all, Simone Biles, everyone. Um I can you explain what's happening? I don't, I is don't that know. carpet? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I it can't is, see. I th- well, that is beading. So apparently the gown was 88 pounds. Okay. It did look heavy when she was walking. I was she like, couldn't oh. even walk. Mm-mm. So why would you guys even continue to do that? She's so small. She's so and then small. You put her on a, a, a dress with accentuated hips. And she has like such a lovely body. Yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. I think that was a mistake i do too and that's She's all giving me right. allison in wonderland weirdness like i and what is the theme it looks like snowflakes i don't even know what they were kind of going for in this so um but wow she could have had something on so much that would have definitely accentuated her athletic body and <sighs> Yeah, you know, her I saw feet. the poor girl struggling to get up the stairs. I was like, "What a mistake!" Oh, she was struggling. It was her, she could not walk at you know, all. And she should have actually said, "I can't walk in this. You got to yeah. do something else." She, she was wobbling. On there. Yeah. yeah, it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bad. Mm-hmm. All right. So, let's see, let's see. Who am I going to surprise you with now? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, so we have, okay. Oh, Tracy. Tracy Ellis. Tracy Ellis Ross. I feel like she never does wrong, I does anything wrong. I mean, she's hey. just, she's just dope. Now this is not capturing the blue. Like it was really blue. It's giving me a little more purple on purple, this, but yeah. 
this was a blue that was like, yes, yes. Um, like someone says, this lighting does her no justice. Yeah. I mean, it was gorgeous on TV. And it was so gorgeous. And everybody on E, because we were watching E. Mm -hmm. We were watching E. They were like, oh, you know, and it was. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was beautiful. And, and they like. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. You say what you're going to say. It just has like this elegance like whenever I see her at first I'm like why did she wear that and then mm -hmm. I fall in love with it yeah um because and then she actually said she was channeling mahogany the photo oh, shoot. I can and see then that. I was like okay sis I get it channeling your mom I yep. got you I got you I love it excellent and yeah, it, you know so, and everything's so simple like she really keeps it simple yes like there's no jewelry the neckline is clean like go yes Simple Bob. I I love it. I thought yeah. it was excellent. Everything about it. Everything about it was great. Yeah, she's just, she has such great taste and knows uh -huh. how to put things together. Yes. Excellent. All right. Next surprise guest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, look at, look at Ray. She's up to no good. Okay. Oh, Normani. Normani. Yeah. And that's Valentino. I yeah. wrote some, of, I tried to take notes, but after a while, yeah, after a while, it's hard to keep up it's with hard Lucy. because I was so caught up in the moment. Yes, and, but that um, looks Valentino. I mean, I would have guessed that um, if you would have had to tell me, what do you think? I would have said Valentino. Um, it's just giving me that whole vibe. And it has, does it have pockets? It's got pockets. <laughs> so that makes it, that the, makes it an honor roll. Listen, when it had, when a dress has pockets, it's the best. Yes. And then she, it just topped it off with that big giant piece of jewelry on the middle of her neck. Yes. Come on, whoever did that. That is excellent. That's all she needed. And I, I just think it's great. The color on her is beautiful. It's awesome. It is awesome. So, yes. oh, Normani. And I am cheating a little bit because instead of downloading photos, I was like, I'm just going to go to the websites and we can. Yeah. And we're fine. And it made it easier for us guys. So. So now yeah. you mentioned diversity. Yes. So um, Kalani, I'm mm -hmm. not really sure she who she is. She's a young and singer, I think. Yes, she's this, a singer. Mm -hmm. This was, had thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Swarovski jewels, um, crystals on it. Get out of really, here. And it was designed by a young black guy. And I Very saw that nice. when Kiki interviewed them and he was okay. doing an homage to the seventies and studio 54. Yes. I see that. Is American. It is. You know, I, I can see that. Yeah. So I just thought I'd bring that up since we talked about diversity. Diversity. Very good. Yes. And um, let's see, I have another one. I, I have so many things open that is hilarious here. I know it's okay. So we're we, multitasking. We don't have to love everything. No. And this is why I say that. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know. I want someone to explain. I, I didn't get an explanation of what was happening. Oh, she said they've been working on this since April. And she says every step she changes colors. We didn't get to see that. Now, maybe they saw that in the party when they went in there and she walked and as a matter of fact, when she came out at a party, she had on something totally different. She had on purple. I don't know if you saw later after party pics, well, but she was walking with Regina King and she had on something totally different. So, so I don't know if she changed there or they went yeah. somewhere else. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, and I think this is like sustainable stuff. I, you know, I don't really know. I don't know. I, I don't think I needed this little thing in the back. Mm -hmm. little wing. Maybe without that, I could kind of mm -hmm. get into it. I'm still not even sure how it's Amer American fashion, but yeah. maybe, and that's because I don't know who the designer is. Let me see if I wrote yeah. it down. And up, I'm, it looked better. Um, it looked better from a disc. This picture looks better than um, when we saw her up close because yeah. when they did an up close, I was like, um, I don't understand what's happening. Um, but yeah, so. She says, I wanted to honor Miss Cicely Tyson in the dress she wore to the 1974 Emmys. Oh, okay. Um, is that right? Yeah, okay. I'd have to see that dress. Oh, look at you, Tyson. <laughs> oh, 
sorry. I don't want to share that screen. Oh, that's okay. That's the 1974 fine. enemies. That's what I'm. Um, you know what? That was something else that she had. I don't think that was that dress. Oh, okay, because because that's not it. Was it a flower dress that Cicely had? Yeah. Yeah, that's something different. Totally different. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, fine then. That didn't work out. Um, but yeah, she, there's really, I looked up to try to see what they say and they're just quoting everything that we heard her say about, you know, um, it took 1400 hours to make it, it made it in April. Every step I take, it changes colors. Um, but I don't see any other thing about it. Um, yeah. Okay. Over 10,000 spheres were cut and layered in size gradients from, yeah, a translucent white liquid fabric. So too bad we didn't get to see it change colors. I'm sure that was pretty nice. That might have um, made us, uh -huh. you know. All right, well, I'm going to go to one of the most boring couples to me, <laughs> which was um, Justin, Justin Bieber. Justin and, Bieber, I'm sorry, yeah. And, and, so, girl, we don't have to know these people. No, I'm just I know, but I know Justin Bieber. I, and I, then I, his wife, Haley. Haley. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, yawn. What's so funny is this person says, they look so boring, give us something else. <laughs> yeah. And the comment above that said the same thing. <laughs> really boring, to be honest, but that's kind of their brand. So ooh, ooh. Mm, that's a high key shade, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we're going to move on from boring. Yeah. I'm going to give you something exciting then. Okay. Let's get excited. Let's get excited. Now, um, we both were on the fence initially. Um, okay. okay, this one has her mask on, but that's okay. And Jennifer Lopez and Ralph oh, Brennan. Yes, and Benifer. Yeah, that's and cool. I will say Ben Affleck always looks good in a tux. Tux, yeah. He's going um, to bring, bring us good looks. First of all, J-Lo, give us body. Like, yes. For, you know, 51, you bring in it always. Always. Um, um, I, yeah, she's given us Western. <laughs> I know that's the theme that she was doing. I'm not too crazy about the dress. I mean, she looks yeah. good in it, but I'm yeah. not a fan right. of her in chocolate. I don't even like that color on her, to be honest. Um, but she's body. <laughs> so, and I think I just like, well, the picture, when she was coming up the stairs, the hat was cocked to the side a little bit. Yeah, yeah. J-Lo on the block meets Western, and I like yeah, that. That was good, This yeah. picture, I didn't pick the best picture. but This picture's the not the, yeah, that picture's not really. But here's anything. someone else who had a hat, and I wish she had put it on. Oh, yes. Yeah. This dress is so super duper interesting. Um, oh, that's the, um, that's Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson, she looks great. That dress, I really like it. I mean, her cowboy boots with a spike heel. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. where'd you get those? Those are, that's kind of dope. Yeah. Um, and then the hat, I wish you would have had that hat on. Yeah. Just to see once, just to kind of get a full. It's so unique. The dress is, I don't know, I'm under the sea type of vibe. Um, I like it. Oh, me too. I couldn't wear it, but she's wearing it. She's wearing it. <laughs> The best part about the dress is that you could eat a lot and you couldn't see what you ate. Yes. Um, okay, so <laughs> let us do, this is something else I didn't quite get. Mm -hmm. And this is Erica Badu and Tom Brown. Okay. Um, it's, it's very avant-garde. Yes. But I, I do... I dare say I might like it a little bit, but I kind of don't either. I don't know what I want to do. I don't either. Her purse a is a puppy. I like the puppy purse. Um, <laughs> oh, is that I, what it is? <laughs> I thought it was a rifle case. <laughs> oh, I'm, I no, think it looks like a puppy. puppy. Yeah. That's hilarious. It's too much. Yeah. It's a comforter. It's someone's bed comforter wrapped on... <laughs> Yeah. I'm like someone's bed comforter and then a sleeping bag on the bottom. I, I but it's Erica, so I don't expect. I mean, what else are we different. gonna expect? But right. even though I would have not been mad if she'd done something indigenous, mm -hmm. that would have been 
pretty on. I mean, and we didn't have any of that. I don't I mean, think anybody did too that. afraid to do anything because of cultural appropriation. Yeah, yeah. That would have been super duper dope. She would have been right. able to probably get away with that though, but she, she yeah. would have. I think so too. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me find um, some of the people from our list. Yes. Now we're going to show you some things that we thought were pretty nice. Here we go. go. <laughs> okay, Lupita. So, Lupita. And she was in um, Atelier Versace. Very nice. I mean. Nothing's more American than denim. You got that sure. right. Definitely giving us that theme. And wow, I didn't know you could do that with denim. So. Well, it reminds me of. And this is a no shade comment, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Project Runway, every so often, they'll do a denim challenge. Oh, okay. And things yeah. that you can, do, it's always amazing, but there's nothing better than a corseted piece of denim, which is what wow. is here. It's a corset, mm-hmm. probably underneath it, and all that pleating and those mm-hmm. seams, and it's just absolutely, and then her hair just totally fits with it. Yes. And then the simple jewels. I it's mean, beautiful. she better work. She better work. She always does. She yeah, she, always. Uh, yeah, she always does. And she absolutely understood the assignment and took mm-hmm. notes and aced the exam. She aced it. Like I said, she understood. She followed it. She got it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give two dumb fashions. Okay. And then we'll get back to the good stuff. Okay. Um, This little couple here. I mean, I just wanted to go... <sighs> take a nap I mean, it was so so boring I mean, and so hard. In bed. yeah yeah what are they giving us sunny and share is this what they're giving us oh i mean she's definitely giving a share i don't remember sunny never wearing a shirt but i don't either but sure let's run with that i'll i'll i'm just throwing that out trying to help them out i'm trying to help i, them I feel like I can definitely see that with her. I'm not sure what he was doing. Maybe he was just decided to be. It's uh, Western. Western. Well, he's got a Western belt on. Mm. I'm not sure why he doesn't have on a shirt. I don't either. But okay, we saw, you know, several people's butt crack. So I'm I'm gonna give uh, him no. We'll shirt. get in. Yeah, we'll get in the butt cat <laughs> in a minute. But yeah, okay. No, thank you. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Okay, here's a queen, but she also had a little butt crack itch situation. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, there she's pulling up. Okay. Taraji. Yeah, Taraji. Taraji's, and, uh, on, right Taraji's on this thing. I'm going to be in shape. And um, he, it was, I thought it was, at first, when she was, they were interviewing her, I thought it was a dress. And then when I saw it was pants, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I really think that's cool because it's different. Yeah. Um, But when she turned around, this thing dips. Yeah, she's giving us a little butt crack. That was kind of a low key theme. It booty was crack. a low key theme. They're yeah. like, yes, given the, they didn't call it booty crack. It was like booty butt cleavage. Cleavage. <laughs> butt cleavage. That's the and thing I, now. I, I so instead of breast. Hair. Yeah. The, the hair is everything. And yeah. I, I agree with this comment. I don't feel like the bra part is totally fit, fitting. I feel like it needs to be pushed up. Pushed up. I don't think her breasts are way down there. But, um, and that may have been kind of falling down. Who knows how that was fitting? Yeah, and it may have been too heavy. That's I what mean, I'm saying, like, right. That's what right, I meant. Right. Like, it may have been coming down because it was heavy because those jewels yeah. were heavy. Mm-hmm. But it's beautiful. I it's wish we beautiful. had a, a shot of her back if we see that later. Yeah, hopefully I won't. No, I'm just playing. So, <laughs> you don't want to see the butt. <laughs> so, Megan Fox. Megan Fox, wow. Now, I'm okay with the dress. I couldn't get past those those Betty Page uh, bangs. Mm-hmm. I love a bang. Mm-hmm. And I love a sharp. She actually, I don't even know how old Megan is. She's definitely one in her 30s. I looked her up. But Megan Fox is. Uh, yeah, she really, and she, she looks good. really she nice. And I'm glad she didn't bring her little dirty boyfriend. Sorry. Who's her boyfriend? She's 35. Uh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was her boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. He and that the little Irish fighter, Connor, they got in a, a little tiff the night before. 
Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, wow. I wouldn't fight a professional fighter. I mean, that's just dumb. Probably shouldn't. Probably yeah, shouldn't do that. Everybody's looked, talking about these bangs, honey. Because the bangs are amazing. The bangs are amazing. I mean, the gown is beautiful, and mm -hmm. she looks great in the gown. Because she always, she always gives us skimpy. Mm -hmm. She's the one of the originators of that, right? Yes. Um. But I can't. This 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 face and that those bangs and that top eyeliner yes jesus yes um okay so i'm gonna move on donna how am i doing on time we're good um how long have we been let's check um i thought i'd be able to tell it there i'm not doing a good job of keeping time <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm loading the next one. Okay. I think we've, what, been 20, 30 minutes? Okay. So, yeah. So I found either a few more, some more. So, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. She looks good. She looks really. Now, I will tell you, she has stepped up her fashion um, in the last year. She has. Um, and I think she has a new stylist. And I'm not sure who it is, mm -hmm. but she has never looked better on the red carpet for the last, you know, year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is just the pinnacle of it. Mm -hmm. And apparently the, 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 the fitted part of the dress is athleisure material. Nice. So that's why it's fitted so well. And apparently mm -hmm. it's extremely comfortable. Okay. Because it can move around, you know, it, it's stretchy. Mm hmm are but, you able to swipe through her pictures if you hit that arrow up there? Will it let you do that? Whatever. Um, the little arrow right next to her arm. <gasps> yes. Yes. I was just wondering if you, because I saw a few dots. I was like, yes. Can we see more? Can we see more? This is, oh, okay. Yeah. So let's go back to this one. Okay. So you can get the full effect. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, everybody had a train last night. Yeah. That was really nice. But yeah, she looked, I mean, the hair... Everything. The simplicity of the jewels, you know, mm -hmm. she just stunning, stunning. That was a good, gorgeous, good look on her. Very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see who we have next. Oh, um, oh, okay. So this is a three parter. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, she giggles. I guess. So, um, we have little Nas X. <laughs> Oh, he starts off in his, uh, you know, in his cape. Now, the, the interesting thing is, and this person actually says this goes more with the heavenly bodies thing, but I mm -hmm. actually think he purposely channeled three, I mean, excuse me, two different um, previous Met Galas. So this, right. because this is Versace, mm -hmm. this is the gown. I mean, this is the um, cape. cape. So then he did a waiting for the pull up mm -hmm. little robot thing. And that reminded yeah, me of they didn't say um, R2D2. Um, they were saying more of who were they saying he was giving more gladiator type thing. But yeah, I, I, I did us. see a mean he was next to the little one. Yeah. R2D2. R2D2. So this is CP3O. Yeah. So I, he was giving me Star Wars with this. I think he that's Star Wars. He was and going for that. And the the gala, I think in 2019 was this Back to the Future kind of thing. Mm hmm. Kind of reminded me of that a little bit. So he's like, I wasn't there, so I'm giving you that. <laughs> and I love, again, this is Versace. You know, it's just the mm -hmm. reveal moment. And then, yeah. you know, he gives us. He ends off the evening with a cat suit. Yeah, and, he and that looks, looks so, really good. His hair looks so great. Uh huh. And he looks so comfortable. And that really looked good on film. I mean, yes. on TV. The crystals in that were gorgeous. And, and I enjoyed uh, watching him do all the posing for the cameras. Yeah. He, he was, was so confident. It was he was so confident. I, was like, I have never that. seen him more comfortable and confident. Ever. 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 And he was just, he, he was, was like true, authentic little self. <laughs> unapologetically fully himself. Yes. And like someone said, he understood the assignment. Yes. He liked the assignment. He did well with the assignment. 
and he got an A. So bravo. Bravo. And we needed mm -hmm. um, a reveal. So yeah. we'll go to, um, I notice when I do the share screen, it takes a little longer. Okay. Yippee. Sweetie. She, honey, let me tell you something. I wish we had another shot of her body. <laughs> this girl's body is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm like, why? What is happening? I, I, and it's not even so much the dress for me. Like, it's nice. I guess it's butterfly. I don't, oh, I guess well, that's the theme. So um, it's her, her thing um, is, uh, she's she's half asian and but i can't mm -hmm. remember if it's thai or what it is but one of them is that flag and then the other train thing hanging down is the mm -hmm. african american heritage flag okay i see now okay so the colors uh -huh. these things the little drape train thing in the back kind of had some significance Mm -hmm. um, of her, you know, being a biracial and um, from immigrant immigrant background. Got gotcha. you. Um, I did not care for the gown. You know, right. I, it's, it was okay. It was a naked gown, but I'm going to tell you, I loved her shoes, her nails, hair, and um, all of her accessories. Yeah. <laughs> she, listen, she's, she's giving us body, body, body. Yeah. And and you know she's actually very likable. Yeah, so she is likable. Yeah, I saw her on um, the Paris cooking show on Netflix, and I was like, "Okay, what her." Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody said this is given Fashion Nova. Cause uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is she a little gave bit. us. She didn't give us butt cleavage, but she gave us bottom butt cleavage. Bottom butt cleavage, cause she's holding that. Was she holding that up? No, she. But yeah, she gave us a little side side butt. <laughs> yes. And I'm telling you, some of them had a, if there was a wind and a strong breeze, they would have messed oh, yeah. up. Now, did we talk about Billie Eilish? We didn't. We didn't go into okay. her. So um, I found the perfect picture. I think that's great. And they have some other pictures of her. She looked to me, people are like, I don't think this color, I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. The color was perfect on her because she is the color, you know, the, the um, she's pale. Let's mm -hmm. just call it what it is. That color was perfect for her. And mm -hmm. she looks beautiful. She really does. She was she so really nervous. Does. She was so nervous. Well, she said she was extremely nervous. Mm -hmm. um, that she was shaking. Shaking. Mm -hmm. um, and she was, again, a co-chair. But yeah. look at her, the rings and the bracelets. And then she's giving us a little Marilyn Monroe mm -hmm. hair. Look at this train. train. I mean, mm -hmm. And she got into it. Yeah. Look at this. She's giving us some face. I mean. Oh, yes. You know, she got into it. She knew I, she was looking good. Listen, yeah. she knew she was looking good. You could tell. She yep. was nervous, but she knew it was it was hitting. So very good. Good job, Billy. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So here's Amanda. Amanda Gorman. Yay. Now, I will say the blue looked beautiful mm -hmm. on her, but I did not like the dress. Um, right. The train looked like it was and if, this is not the best photo if I can find another one, but the train. See if they go it, to the next one. Oh, God, darn it. You, thank you. You're saving my <laughs> life with the arrows. Yes, the arrows. I, I didn't like the, it's too high-waisted. It is too high-waisted for her. And, and then it looks like they just decided to stick on the sheer layer on the top. Yeah. But that blue looks amazing. And she is, um, being, Her skin um, looks gorgeous. Her skin. I mean, ponytail they were like i wish the statue of liberty had this ponytail <laughs> right. and and then her little she had the crystals on her face and then the yeah. the, the little wreath on her hair and i uh -huh. i can't remember what her what the book said but i want to say um it was a part from the give me your 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 tire yeah. Um, yeah what the the statue of liberty said right yeah um, she, that was her theme. That was um, her theme. So I thought I was cheap. Again, I don't love the dress, but I love the way they uh -huh. accessorized it. And that color just looks amazing on her skin. Yeah, very good. Okay. Oh, and nice. then um, Dan Levy. Dan, I love him. And his, you know, he had a, he had a message. 
you know mm-hmm. it was mm-hmm. a message it looks like um it's a world map first of all amazing yeah i mean he's a globe i i love it and then the the couple that he has on there kissing you yeah. know um, out to lgbt mm-hmm. plus mm-hmm. and this is made by low designed by low okay and then on his boots he has roses because he's david rose on the show yes which i, I love it. there they got there their boots <laughs> listen i was cute that is cute He's, I love him, so he's too. great. I think he's great. Okay. This is what I wanted to, Miss Kiki. Yes, Kiki. You better she give held her. it down. Listen. And she did, uh, she hosted the the show and she stood on that red carpet. For hours. Sleep, for hours. Three hours, yeah. Yes. And there's she the did. back. Oh, she was given, she looks grown up. I mean, I always look at Kiki like a small, uh, younger. I mean, she's obviously younger than us, but to hear here, she looks like a grown woman. Right. She's giving me Diana Ross for sure. Um, but man, I love it. I love it. And she's like, yeah. someone said, why is no one following a theme? Diana Ross is American. Like, come on, y'all. She is if, American culture. Uh, come on, y'all. From the Supremes all the way. You all the get, way. You get it yeah that is definitely the theme yeah so i'm gonna not share because i want to there's someone else i need to do a quick search for okay um okay so this gets the dumb award too okay i just gotta give the dumb award (laughs) oh my gosh oh my gosh what is going on with them? I don't know. And, I, and what I will say, because I'm in New York, it was 80 degrees, 80 something, 80 plus degrees. So she was burning up. She had to be on fire. Like, I'm surprised there's not a little bit of a flame coming or some smoke coming out of the top of her head. And please tell me now, we're talking about the theme. What, what are we doing here? <laughs> Y'all want to talk about people staying on theme. What is this? Girl. I don't know. It just gets the dumb award. And I do wonder if she had on makeup underneath. Just out of morbid curiosity. I would hope not. (laughs) Because it would have been smeared all over the place. All over the place. Mm -hmm. So there was someone else. Did we? Let's see who we did not. I'm looking at my knee. We have, did we talk about Carly? Oh, oh, listen, these legs, and I don't even, I don't know if you can go through the other pictures, but these legs of hers are, oh, that's a good shot of the color of the dress. Yeah. Um, This woman's legs go on for miles. She's gorgeous. Really and is. this was a rose. I mean, rose, that was her theme, that she's a rose. And uh, she she delivered the sleeves, the, that whole situation at the top is beautiful. And, and now, you, do you remember the movie, uh, was it American Beauty? Yes. Uh-huh. So, and that was uh, the American rose, that, that the type of uh, breed, uh-huh. not breed, but, and that's what the rose she was, she was doing. Was America. Okay. Yes. So she was on theme. From she was on to theme. On toe. Legs. She looked like she loved every minute of her dress. I, I, I don't blame her. And they she said, wore uh, her. you know, listen in the E and you listen to the professionals. That's mm-hmm. right. But they talked about how even the top of the dress was made so it wouldn't, um, you know, obscure her face mm-hmm. at all. And I was like, dang, they are so on point with that. That was beautiful. So, good job. Good job, Carly. Yay. Who else did we not? Oh, we got a couple of. So I'm going to, here's, uh, and you and I talked about her earlier. Okay. But this is um, Barbie Ferreira. Ferreira. She's mm-hmm. um, from Euphoria. And um, let me just say that this gal was amazing. And it is an homage to the Roaring Twenties, mm-hmm. but it's all in pearls. 
olives and pearls. So I'm sure that was a little heavy. It's yes. beautiful though. She looks great. I love how the side is emphasizing her hips there. I think it's great. And she's snatched in this. Yes, come well, on. She snatched. still looks very comfortable, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, like, but on the show, she wears corsets all the time. So she probably corsets in real life a little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's funny. But, um, okay, so we did, oh, here we go. One more. Mm -hmm. Well, not one more, but here's another from our list. Okay. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> no, I can't. The bodysuit I hate more than life itself. I do not like the bodysuit at all. I can't. Lace, lace especially certain color lace, mm -hmm. looks um, dirty to me. Yeah, and I don't, what are these pink stars? Like, I don't like it. Hey, why are the pink stars? We didn't need uh, the stars, but mm -hmm. I do like the um, cape. Cape is great. Now, I wish the cape didn't go up so far on her face. Like, right. I wish the cape was down a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like, right. that would even, to me, been a little better. The cape is great. I just, yeah. I don't like under the cape. Me neither. And is she giving us old Hollywood? I don't know the theme. Well, I think they throw a star on there and boom, it's America. Um, and he said, and boom. Hollywood. That's about all I can give them. You said, and boom, it's America. Throw some stars on there. We're good. <laughs> mm. Oh, gosh. So let's see. Who didn't we? Who's on our list? Where's our Did Kiki. We have a couple of people at the end. Um, Mary, Rihanna. McKinney. Yes. So yeah. let's do close up of Rihanna. Yeah, because I didn't get to see Rihanna walk out there. I missed. I think she was probably super late. Oh yeah, she. They said ten thirty. Oh. Psh. So yeah. she probably missed dinner. But and to me, the best part of this whole Balenciaga situation. Mm hmm was the scully cap and scully the, cap. the jewels underneath mm -hmm. that you uh, know everything else it was just a big giant coat yeah but this right yeah, here for the, the scully with the jewels that's different i it, like it yeah it made like to her for me for her to even think of that or her stylist i was like mm -hmm. yeah that's different and that is america because mm -hmm. guess who does a scully <laughs> we do all of us Talk to the side so <laughs> <laughs> so um but i'll find um let's go to her hermansis well let's just do hermansis hermansis her man is asap yes rocky asap pretty boy rocky i mean i'm not sure what the cape meant and apparently it is um a designer that is fairly new um well we had a train it's a quilt and so nothing is you know i don't know if it was some gully south carolina quilting but that definitely looks like a quilt it was pattern. a quilt and he used um the, the designer's name is erl uh -huh. and i haven't had time to really totally i started reading this morning but it's a young designer and um then when he took it off you know, and this is a full picture of him and Rihanna. Uh -huh. They look great. He actually looks fantastic because with the brooches. Mm -hmm. I like it. And he's he's totally diamond out. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have loved. I don't know what she if she had if this was this the whole dress that Rihanna had on, or if there was something else under. Under, it. yeah. But they look they look great. I mean, they both had on comforters. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, but I don't like you said. Are we hiding something, Rihanna? Are we? Well, mm -hmm. I, well, I shared a video or with someone, one of our on our thread. Mm -hmm. She was walking the day before. There's nothing. Oh, okay. Dang it! I wanted it to be something. Yeah, like there darn it. Bump watch. We don't. We there's no bump watch. There's no bump so, watch. Turn. We were hoping for that, Rihanna. Yes, and let me find Mary. That is who I'm looking for. Yeah, Mary J. Oh, please stand by. And Sierra, too. Ah, yes, so let me just. 
they were both serving. Oh, this and is a good picture. Okay. What? No. No. Okay, so that was a video by accident. Mm -hmm. All right. And. Uh oh. Here's frizzy. Sorry. Sit here. here we go. Okay, Sierra. And Sierra I thought this now. was super cute. You so know, funny. it mm -hmm. kept, I mean, what's more, what's more American than football? football. And her well, husband. Um, and it, that was his number of his jersey, right? That was his number. And the football purse. The sequence gown, I love it. Yeah, I thought she looked super cute. And she was on theme. Snatches back really quick after these babies. Go ahead, honey. Good Jesus, yes. <laughs> Let us know your secrets. All right, and then we'll do Queen Mother. Mm-hmm. Now, I might have to do some scrolling, but that's okay. That's fine. We will scroll. I'm going to reveal. Yes. Queen Mother. Go ahead. <laughs> Mary looks so good. Mary's like, listen, I'm in shape. I'm going to wear this. You see my areolas, whatever. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> I don't care. How her wonderful her boobs are. I mean, they're just sitting so perfectly. Like, I mean, come on. That's impressive. I'm on 51 because you know boobs don't like to do that. No. no. <laughs> oh wow! Now I can see how she has um her stars. With stars. Mm-hmm. She and stripes. I suppose. And stripes. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice it until now. I'm in a very very close up. Yeah. But I get it, and I love every minute of it. And that's a sequin gold Dundas gown. She's a is that the only person I've had on? Somebody else had undone this. I wrote it down. But if you have a shot of the back, that's what really, um, oh, you know, cool. was let, me, whole... let me see if I can get a shot of the back. Because that's where the design really kind of, she was giving us booty. <laughs> well, um, I don't have the back, but oh, okay. who is this? I have the side. I have the side. If I can scroll up and find it. I didn't know I was getting into a hole. Oh my. Oh, here we go. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry about it's okay. that. You mean oh, yeah. this? That's what we wanted to see. Yes. That's so my cute little, so she clipped, she basically had on no underwear all night. No underwear, no nothing under that. No. No bra, no panty. Listen. No, and a cute little butterfly as an accessory. <laughs> I'm giving you everything right here. And the hair matched, everything was perfect. Yeah. And it's still classy at the end, you know? It's still classy. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, so we gonna love her. That was great. And I'm leaning all in the camera. <laughs> I am too. I'm like, wait, that looks so good. So here's another one. Okay. Sometimes it's like just trying to find the perfect. Here mm -hmm. we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely wanted to see MJ Rodriguez. I really like that. I mean, oh, I thought I it was really too. nice. Um, yeah, I thought that was great. Yeah, and this is, again, Tom Brown. And Tom Brown was actually, now he's a designer that does um, a lot of skirts for men. Okay, okay. And he I'm was not on the red carpet. His, it was a few other people with his designs on the red carpet. But okay. Um, I really, oops, I'm sorry. Who the heck is she? I really enjoyed um, yeah, his, MJ. His, yeah, she looked really good. She really did. And, and she was super excited to be there. <laughs> yes. I mean, then for some people, this was like their first time. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if there was anyone else. 
I think Michaela, and then we can do our favorite, 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 favorite after that, and then we'll close yes. out. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. all righty. This is a little bit of a close up, but you can. Okay. But the best part of her is her skin yeah. and her makeup. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> Please hold. You're using an ad blocker. Uh, okay, Harper's Bazaar will. Oh my gosh, okay. I accidentally went on to Harper's Bazaar and then I lost my mind a little bit. Oh, see. You went off on a whole different tangent. I did a little bit. So here she is. Mm -hmm. Look at um, this. Balenciaga, and, and it's, you know, it was a nod to the American flag. It could also, for me in my head, was a nod to denim. Yeah. That blue is sharp. It, and it looks so, you know, one thing about this type of blue, it mm -hmm. looks so good on Black women's skin. Yeah, it really you know? does. And um, can you hear that? Yeah, what's that? I don't know. They're drilling somewhere. In the oh, okay. <laughs> hey, real life. This is real life. Real life. But um, um, yeah, she and her, when they were talking to her, um, Kiki was talking to her. Her skin, her makeup, because she can wear, because of her features and her eyes, her, she can actually wear a lot of makeup. Yeah. Those yeah. cheekbones. Those cheekbones. She has, I mean, her eye makeup was like big false eyelashes that look amazing and eyeliner and she just looks so good and she can do it yeah and she it doesn't look do over it. the top on her it's no great. Mm -mm. and she has a great body also she's a yoga girl yeah she looks great i mean and i mean yeah and it's all the way from head to toe like she mm -hmm. it looks like she had to literally put her feet in the whole thing mm -hmm. and pull it all the way up pull it all the way big up. stocking yep mm -hmm. so are we ready for yes I'm sure everyone has seen this, but we have to talk about it. <laughs> if we don't talk about it, we need to just go to hell. Right. Like, what are, what are we doing? <laughs> Why'd y'all even, even do something? You Look, now I can't find the picture. I'm so excited about it. Oh, it's okay. You'll find it. I sure <laughs> will. I do want to say Tiana Taylor. Um, well, let's look at her while I'm finding. Hang on. Mm -hmm. This was a dress that I think was way too heavy. So when she was um, coming out of the hotel, um, it just kept slipping down in the back. I think her was, whole butt was out. Her whole butt was out, and I hate navels. Sorry. Uh, well, she's an Audi, so. Yeah. Not I mean, a total she has a great, great body, but I just didn't think. I mean, and apparently this was channeling Venus de Milo. Mm-hmm. Um, I, Listen, she can wear whatever because her body just lets her get away with it. No one else would have been able to have that slipping in the back and all that like that. No, her face looks amazing. Yeah. Her but, um, and hers was Prabhu Garong and he's an American designer, immigrant, um, mm -hmm. an immigrant family. So how American is that? Right. Right. Okay. So diversity. good for her. Good for her. All right. Piece de resistance. Mm -hmm. Drum roll, please. Piece so uh, look at the the way that glow. Like what? She looks. First of all, when she came out, and she uh, was one of the first big moments that came yeah. out on the carpet. Yeah. And I think I was screaming in my house. Yeah. And I'm sure you were screaming in your house. I was. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, this is my like, oh my And I didn't at first, because I, I was like, well, who is that person with the same headdress? That's the designer, correct? That's the designer. That's yeah. Harris Reed. And um, they did an amazing job with this dress. Hey, well, I mean, it's not even a dress. I think it's pants underneath. It's pants. <laughs> yeah, That's like a, a pants. It's a nice flare leg pant. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a bodysuit, which I mm -hmm. love. And I love, and I just love how it was just different. Yeah, and I'm not even sure what the headdress meant, and I didn't even care. 
I don't care. For me, it doesn't it matter. Was, it was America. Yeah. She is. I mean, come on. Super mom. I know she's not from here, but listen, Iman is a treasure to us. So absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Um, and, and she said it was sunshine. Well, it looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and who else better to be the sun goddess than Iman? Yes. I mean, oh. The headdress is just ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's a statement. It's just mm. like, here I am. Don't forget who I am. Yeah. The goal, the way I'm sure that goal shimmered in person probably was just beautiful in person. Like, I'm sure the camera is not even catching this. And that's some oh. type of, my mom kept saying that's some type of grass, that type of whatever feather she looks mm -hmm. like she has on. It's a type of grass. It does, I mean, that was just. <sighs> It was amazing. I mean, overall, this for me, because the last, the last um, Met Gala, it was camp. It was mm -hmm. okay. The one before that, which was the future one, mm -hmm. was so boring. Yeah, but I didn't this like one, that. One. I know people were like, "Oh, mm -hmm. I haven't been out hardcore in a, over a year," mm -hmm. and they understood the assignment and they brought it. Mm -hmm. This was one of the most exciting Met Gala carpets. So. Yeah, me that too. I've seen. I mean, my favorite favorite one was the the uh, religious theme, the church yeah. theme, or whatever it's called, and then and then the China one, which yeah. is you know where Rihanna wore the, the red. I mean that yellow cape yeah. gown oh situation yeah. that was insane. Yeah. That was. But, um, and you know, people understood the assignment. That's all I can say. Yeah. And and they really the the attention to, to details that they paid with like even the jewels and the, it was so much hair accessories yeah you know and, ah. and the jewelry and just it was awesome it was great it was an awesome night it was great how did she get there how did Iman get there they had that packed up and then when she got there obviously they had to put that on her yeah. where did they do that like I'm just like uh well and you know on the side. When you get out, it's all <laughs> it's all tense. When you get out of your van, you go into okay. like a tent. Okay, no I didn't one know. can okay. see you. Mm. And um, yeah, they re they started putting that up over the last few years, which is like okay. a bummer for the people outside trying to see people. And they then right see. when you get right in front of the museum where they go up the stairs, they now put up a grass hedge. So wow. you can't see anyone. And I guess it's like if no one could run up and throw an egg or something. Yeah. You can't really see anyone until they go up the stairs. Yeah. So she could, she probably didn't even have the crinoline on until she mm -hmm. got out and went into that little tent. Mm -hmm. the tent is long. It's as long as the, it basically spans the entire side walkway of the museum. Okay. The museum okay. is about four blocks long oh it's four so, blocks oh wow yeah it, it's maybe three or four blocks um but so that what that um north side of it is all tent so that's wow. a two block, almost a two block long tent and you they have chairs in there and i only know because one night i was that's when the night i was able to see Nicki minaj's leg because she was <laughs> sitting in a chair and a, her leg was swinging Mm -hmm. um, but they have like little chairs.